We are here with uh, Babson head coach Eric Neely as well as student athletes Martina Jankovic Chin and Olivia Leinen we, uh, Weber after today's three set win over Swarthmore in the NCAA first round here at Tufts. Uh, coach, just your initial thoughts about the victory today. I'm really proud of our team's resilience. You know, to come from behind in two sets in a row there, it's hard to do under any circumstances, never mind a, a tournament game, so that's really cool. Yeah, you know, last week you guys the New Mac um, tournament, you guys advanced to the New Mac final game. Um, How did you guys bounce back after? You know, last weekend when today's game? Well, I think we've just been playing better and better as we've gone on the last few weeks. We've started to really find a rhythm and really proud of how the players are coming together. It's really cool. And then girls, you know, after last weekend, you know, how did you guys ride together to kind of put up to the today's win? Well, I think as a team we have this, a common goal, which is to go as far as we can with the hopes of winning the national championship. And so one loss doesn't define us as a team. And we just rallied together, came together, and we pushed through as a collective. And that's what makes us that's all well. I also think we really wanted to win New Max, so not winning, but also getting the chance to come back and keep playing. We were too And then, you know, you're not playing at home, but you're still playing in your home state or your school state. What's it like being able to, you know, just get on a quick bus drive rather than driving eight hours up to New upstate New York or something for a game? It's really nice. It's big. We have midterms and this, it's been major. What did you guys learn from last year's NCAA tournament experience that you think will help you this time around or, or today's match specifically? I think we learned that there's, there's not going to be any easy teams. Like every game is going to be a fight. Every game could be a five set match. We just got to keep pushing. Yeah, and I think as a senior and making it for the first time last year into the regionals, it helped me kind of like deal with the nerves which then I hope that I can like pass along to some of my teammates that are underclassmen so that they can continue with the tradition. You guys talk about nerves a little bit. You got off to a great start, 25-11 in the first set. How much does that help you confidence-wise to, to get that first set and feel good about how you played? I think it helps a little bit, but you have to like refocus and think that they're not just going to roll over like that again and keep pushing. I think it was really good for us to keep pushing late too not to let it get to a fourth set. You know, we saw last year going to five sets in the first round, made it a lot harder than made a five set match in the second round. I think uh, it would have been easier to win 3-0 last year, it would have given us a boost. So it is something maybe we learned. <laughs> Let's win 3-0 and uh, be ready to go here. You know, you have first year Harris on the court, uh, first year Libero, first uh, transfer setter. You know, what is it that you told your players before the game to kind of get them all into the same frame of mind? Well, I don't think anyone's a rookie at this point. You know, we've got a whole season together. We've spent so much time together. You know, since August, uh, everyone's a veteran by now, and uh, we've learned to trust everybody out there on the court. You know, we know what we're going to see from each other. We battle together in practice every day. I think you know this team's ready to go. There's no rookies anymore. Coach, congratulations on the victory today. Three set win over Swarthmore. You'll play tomorrow night at 7:30 in the NCAA second round here at Tufts. Uh, congratulations to you as well, student athletes. Thank, Thank you. you.